Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, uh, I am feeling much better. Um, I still have just a lingering cough. Aside from that, I finally feel good. Um, it's crazy, it took over a week to get better. The kids were sick two, two and a half days and they were good. Uh, whatever got me kicked my butt and I was sick for over a week, but I'm finally feeling better. So back in the studio again. Um, let's see, today, uh, really quickly, I'm just gonna mention it is now less than a month away um, before I head out to Fort Myers, Florida, where I'm going to be teaching two days of classes with Kathleen from Cause Creations. So there are still seats left if you want to join us in Fort Myers. We are going to be doing the classes at the Hyatt Hotel uh, in Fort Myers. So if you want information on that event, <clears throat> you can email us at fluidartwithfriendsflorida at gmail.com. Okay, you can still come and see us in Florida and come and paint with us. Uh, Dallas, Texas. I will be in Dallas, Texas, September 27th to the 29th. If you want to come and see me in Dallas, Texas for the Fluid Art Experience, you can check out the website in the description below, uh, www.fluidartexperience.com. And of course, I am doing my Montreal, Canada workshop. Uh, that is happening September 14th. In Montreal, if you want information on that, email me, canalastaraco at gmail.com. All right, spinners. I finally uh, got time to get into the garage workshop and start making my spinners. So if you have ordered a spinner, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I have started making them, so you should, if you're you know, one of the first people who ordered, you should be getting it within the next week or so, uh, or at least I'm gonna ship it out within the next week or so. Uh, I have about 40 orders so far to do. Uh, so if you're like 35th in line, uh, it's gonna take a while. Um, but yeah, I'm a one man show. So I'm making them all one by one. Um, and so you can get the spinner for 45 or you can get the spinner and a silicone lowly veffy mat uh, for 60. Um, that is Canadian currency and shipping is extra. Shipping to the US is about $20. Um, <clears throat> all right, so spinners are available. And like I said, these are great for coasters and a small like eight by eight inch canvas, nothing bigger than that. Uh, one day I will make bigger spinners and when I do, uh, probably in the fall, I will let you guys know and then you can order a big spinner if you like, okay? All right, let's get started. Uh, so what I have here is a 14 by 18 inch canvas and if you remember a couple of videos ago, I did the blue and white split with the blues, dark blue colors. And I had asked about sage green and you guys said, yeah, yeah, do the sage green. So that is what I am doing today. So let me tell you my base colors. My base is this, you know, sagey kind of minty green that I made myself. Okay, and I made that using titanium white, uh, olive green deep, by Amsterdam, and then I did like two pea-sized drops of oxide black just to give it that smoky look. So that is what I did with that. And then this is just your Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. All right, so I hope I have enough of that. I hope. All right, so that is my base colors. And uh, the colors I'm going to be using are Payne's Gray by Holbein. Then I've got Pearl Olive Green by Arteza. And then this is a made up color. Um, it's just a blue concoction um, from video 598. This is the blue that I used to make Anthony's painting. 
So don't ask me what I did or what colors I used to make that color, but it's like a nice blue, smoky blue color. Uh, 24 karat gold by Deco Art. And then topping it off, we've got blue, black, indigo by Atelier. So some pretty dark colors, which I think are really going to pop on this green and cream base. Now, if you want to know how I mix my paints <clears throat> in my low leave Effie bottles, you can check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top. That is a full tutorial on how I mix my paints. Now, speaking of low leave Effie bottles, as you may or may not have seen in Sunday's video, I am doing a special low leave Effie kit for the month of June. It is a bottle kit. So if you ever wanted to get and stock up on bottles, now is the time to do so. I will put a picture of the kit right here. You get all kinds of bottles of all the sizes. You get like a big jumbo silicone mat and all kinds of stuff. You know, head on over to the website lolivefe.com and you'll see it right there on the main page. And it is 33% off, but you could also save an extra 10% off the sale price using code Canela10. All right. So if you ever wanted to stock up on your Loli Veffy bottles, now is the time to do so. All right. I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. All right, colors down, bubbles have been popped. Now I'm looking at this cream and I love cream, but I just think it's too creamy for me. I should have lightened it up with some titanium white, but too late, so can't do anything about it. And who knows, maybe I might like it when this is all said and done, but <clears throat> it is a little creamy for me. But let's just continue and see what happens anyway. Oh, do we have a blockage? I have a blockage. What is going on here? Let's see. Something goofy in here or what? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's see if that helped. Yes, it did. Um, well, I'm finally feeling better and we this week are going through an extreme and I mean extreme heat wave. Um, it's crazy how hot it is outside. Um, this whole week is going to be between 100 and 104 Fahrenheit which is so not normal for June where here in Canada or at least where I live. <clears throat> so. Uh, I put way too much blue down and that was Holbein and we all know Holbein is a very powerful color. I really overdid it on the Holbein. Sugar, sugar, shoot. So anywho, it's what it is. <laughs> Maybe this painting is doomed. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. All right, blue, black, which is almost kind of like the Payne's Gray of Holbein, but you know, oh, that's going to be dark. She's going to be dark. <clears throat> Anywho, yeah, major heat wave happening here. Got the AC pumping. Dogs are comfortable, but man, the dog walks are not comfortable. I try and go really early in the morning and then late at night. Okay. Fix my hair dryer here. Um, all right, let's just see what happens. Let's do it.
Okay. Uh, love, love, love the colors. I was fine until I did that. Why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. I should have just left it how it was. And now I don't like it. I don't like it. It just looks like meh. It, it just doesn't belong. One of these things is not like the other. Um, I love the rest of it. I just don't know why I did that. So, we are going to do that. Just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Like that. And it's a good thing I made excess of the screen. Like so. And then we'll blow it. If you can see my head in that shot, don't mind my ridiculous hair. I did not do my hair or my makeup in preparation of this video <laughs> because I didn't feel like it. So, you know, sometimes I'm not always looking glamorous and camera ready. Alrighty. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, that is funny. All right. Oh, that's so much better. Now I'm just going to blow that to make it a little more natural. There we go. That's better. Now I just need to fix my edge here because I did scrape the side because there was blue going down the side and there shouldn't be because there's no blue here. So there shouldn't be any blue going down the side, right? Always remember that when you are scraping something off of your canvas and you scrape the top off, that's great. But you got to make sure that the side matches the top. Okay, it's got to be matchy matchy. There we go. Perfect. And I need a new paper towel. All right. Now that is better. Now the whole vine did kind of take over. I just, I, like I said, I goofed a little bit on that. So, but the blue looks so beautiful with this green and the cream. So that's it. I'm going to fix the rest of my edges. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. Alrighty, so before we get to the close-up, don't forget to take your stick and you want to scrape the drips. All right, super important. Do all four sides, come back 10 minutes later and you should be able to do one more and you should be good. All right, so as mentioned, there's gonna be a lot of shimmer in this because of the 24K. Um, but there is definitely a lot of blue. And the blue does really look pretty with the titanium buff and this nice sage green. But I did really, really overdo it on the Holbein. Wasn't thinking. Totally, totally put way too much Holbein. But I still think it looks pretty. Let's check it out with the flash on. Alrighty. So, obviously, yeah. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen there. There's a lot of gold in here, which I'm really happy about because I think it just looks really good with the cream background. Um, really loving this a lot. Look at that. It's like almost like a waterfall of blues. It's super pretty. I do love this color combination. Just less whole by next time. Lots of shimmer, so much shimmer. And there you have it, my friends. I uh, would love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Don't forget, if you want to see me at any of the workshop events uh, that are coming up, check out the description below the video. 
It'll give you all the information, links, emails, everything so that you can sign up or get information on the classes. If you want a spinner, email me. Um, if anyone is interested in this piece, uh, you can email me. And I still have a lot of pieces um, available. I know the lighting sucks. So if you want better pictures, um, please email me, um, you know, but I do have more paintings that are available at a very discounted clearance price. So if you are interested in any of the paintings you just saw on the wall, plus a few more that I have kicking around on the floor here, um, email me. And like I said, very big clearance, at least 50% off. Okay, so if you've ever wanted one of my paintings, now would be a good time. All right, so that's it for me for now. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.